All right, what's up everybody? So, decided I'm gonna make a bunch of videos about gardening in Florida. Um, I've had so many ups and downs and I'd like to learn from other people, you know? So, point of my videos is I want other people to comment and give me tips and tricks and share that information with, uh, with other people. So feel free to make some comments on the video. And today what I wanna to talk about is corn. So I've got two different types of corn going here. Uh, I've got some standard American sweet corn. And then if you look way up here, that is choclo, which is a Peruvian corn. And those are about 12 foot tall. Now, one of the biggest problems that I could use some help with, if you look here at the leaves, you see that? That's from uh, caterpillars chewing the leaves up. Now I've got some new sweet corn down here that I planted, it's probably, let's call it three weeks ago, give or take, something like that. But as you can see, see all that brown stuff? That's caterpillar poop. And you can see they're chewing the leaves apart. And there's more down there. And it's just horrible. Um, and I have tried wood ash. Um, because that's an old uh, old grandma's trick, dumping uh, just ash from the from the fire pit over there into uh, the leaves and all, you know just spreading it all over, and that kind of works, but it definitely doesn't uh, keep them away. I mean, as soon as it rains, all that ash washes away. And then same thing with seven dust. I've also tried that, and that hasn't uh, really helped all that much either. Um, and then the other thing is just fishing them out with a wire you know i've done that and i'll reach in there and squeeze them and squish them you know like uh, as an example if they're up in here is where they usually go right in the top and i'll reach in there and squeeze them and squish them i can hear them squish and hopefully i don't damage the plant doing that and then the other option is to get up there with uh, a little wire and try to fish them out so i'm wondering if anyone else out there has any tips or tricks that uh, can help out because I have tried and tried to grow corn and it's just a pain in the ass. You can see on one of the stalks up there, it's got no uh, no male parts. You know, they're, it's not fertilizing anything because the stupid caterpillars chewed it all off. And that one, they got about half. And then this one's nice and full. And you can see, okay, and here's a sweet corn plant. They didn't barely touch that one. And look how small it is, you know, but it does have three ears down there, but it's tiny because I probably planted it a little too late in the season. Um, but even, you know, that species that I planted, which is, uh, let's take a look here. It is called peaches and cream sweet corn. And then here's the uh, Peruvian corn. It's called, well, in Peru, in Peru they call it choclo. So it's Peruvian Choclo. That's the bag, you can buy it here locally, actually. And here's, you can see the different uh, kernel sizes. So this is Choclo over here, and this is regular American sweet corn. And just look at the difference in the size of the kernel. Now, the Choclo is not sweet, um, so I actually want to, it's good tasting, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't have that sweet sugary taste like sweet corn does. So I actually want to try to make a hybrid between sweet corn and the uh, Peruvian choclo to make big sweet corn. I think that would be kind of cool. So uh, I'm going to try that this winter here in Florida because that apparently is one of the best times to grow corn. And, and you can see I've got a few ears of the choclo. There's one and there's one. There's a few over here. Even this little guy that didn't fully grow, nor does it even have a top, actually has uh, has three or four ears on it. So I must have got fertilized by that guy up there. And just to give you some perspective on how tall these things are, let's see. There's my uh, kid's two-story playhouse over there. These things are huge. So anyways, um, if anybody has any tips or tricks on how to keep the caterpillars, which I believe is just some sort of moth caterpillar, if anybody has any tips or tricks on how to keep those at bay, I'm sure uh, not only would I appreciate it, but a lot of other people 
that are on our Facebook group, uh, Backyard or Florida Backyard Gardening. I'm sure everyone there would appreciate it. Let us know. Thanks.